Greetings everyone, welcome to the next Let's Play. This one kind of came out of nowhere for me too. Um, we're going to do Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30. In fact, I think I'm going to do the whole series right now. Um, <laughs> and not deviate because I can play the whole freaking stuff and not not have any qualms about it. Uh, it kind of came out of nowhere because Hawkey was talking to me. And... I was talking to him the other night, he said, I was just going through games that I had, and he said, You must do this game, I love it! And I was like, I, I know, this is like my favorite game too, so I said, let's do it. Got all my settings set up, which took a while, get the recording going. Uh, so let's begin, and we're not playing with no pansy, I don't have authentic yet. I haven't played this, it's a fresh file. We're not going to be pansies, we're going to play it on difficult. My dad said something to me after the divorce. He said every soldier has two families. Those you raise, and those you raise hell with. I've spent eight days here. Eight days commanding a squad I wasn't ready to lead. Eight days watching my men, my family, kill and be killed. Eight days wishing it would stop. Well, we're already at Hill 30. Where's the road to get there? Oh my goodness, I can't see. It's blurry. What's going on? Let's get some drizzle. Wait, hold on, you're shooting. You okay, Baker? No. Apparently you're being shot at. Down! Ah! I got you. Now, with this game, you cannot get headshot. That's what I freaking love about it. So, if you're yelling at me, shoot him in the head, it doesn't work that way. Oh, where's the fatigue? I didn't hear a ting. Come on, man. Don't die. Hang in there. Where's the goddamn armor? Okay, hold on. I gotta set up my controls. Okay, I'm good with all that. Switch weapons tab. Grenade is going to be No dang it. This is the absolute worst system I've ever freaking seen. I'm gonna kill my cat. Just to let everyone know, I'm going to kill Speedy. Okay, so command. Oh, shift is switch team. Okay, that's fine. Fall in, fall out. So I can just use shift. Okay. Hold on, I have to go kill my cat. Boy! cause a ruckus when I'm trying to do stuff. Now cut it out. Okay, so I got the controls back to where I had them. I think. I don't worry about objectives. That. Okay, we're good. Oh, that's, that's a Panzer 4D. Oh god. Ah! Knocked me in my butt. Oh! Oof. 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 Hope that wasn't an HE round. You want me? Oh, he's double tapping it. Take me! 
Okay, the tank obliged you. Oh! Oh, that, that's going to leave a mark. Baker! So just a warning. Should have probably done this already. This game is kind of violent. Like, really violent. So, this game came out, oh, what was it, kind of around the time Band of Brothers came out? Uh, a few years after the Saving Private Ryan kick, but uh, they, they went, they wanted, Gearbox said, we want to make an authentic shooter based on World War II with using actual World War II tactics. Oh, Heart Sock, he's awesome. We got Alan Garnett. Oh, I'm starting to remember all these guys now. This is awesome. But, uh, <clears throat> game came out a while back called Full Spectrum Warrior that THQ did. And it was kind of a puzzle game, but it was military tactics. It was basically fire and maneuver tactics. This game took that idea and said, well, why don't we have the player play the squad leader himself, make it somewhat of a shooter, and then go from there. And what they did was just take that one little extra element of making it where the player actually can interact with the environment himself and command things from a first person perspective and changed it and made it totally better. So they started out with this game, Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30, a sequel. Uh, it came out like only eight months later because it used the same game engine. They pretty much had all the stuff together to do it. it didn't take them long. Uh, called Earned in Blood. They got flacked. They got flack for that. But they made everything better in eight months. It was just, they had the idea, the concept, they knew what they were doing, they knew everything of the technology and everything, and they were able to put out an amazing sequel in eight months. And it sold like hotcakes. And then they made Hell's Highway, which we will get into that rant when I get to that game. I'm not going to have that game spoil these other two. So let's get going. Ooh, Normandy. Normandy! C-47s with invasion stripes. Yep, we're in the 101st Airborne. I never asked to be squad leader, but I had no choice. Now I've got 13 soldiers under my command. 13 men depending on me to make the right decisions and not to Oh, dude, you just roused in the 13 plane. families relying on me to bring their husbands and sons home. 13. 13 is not a lucky number. Well, don't be superstitious. Stand up! This is all first person. It's amazing. It's cool. Up. 800 first. Check your equipment. Remember, this squad sticks together. Once you hit the ground, find base. Sound off. That's hard soccer. Oh, jeez. Go. Oh, stupid whirlwinds. Those are 20 millimeter holes. I put the side. <laughs> That's hard suck. <laughs> Stand in the door. Oh. I never asked to be squad leader. Oh, oh, oh. I, I fell. I kind of. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Flat guns going off, other paratroopers. Yeah, that's a parachute, all right. Okay, we're coming down. Some farmhouses. Tree, tree! Ooh. Oh, that leaves my face. Nope. Oop. Okay. Oh! Oop. Okay. Wait a little bit. Well, we fell in a tree. Eh, it wasn't too much of a fall. Okay. Uh, yes, I know the compass thing points to which way we need to go. This crouch, um, huh? We don't have a gun. A lot of the paratroopers lost their equipment on the initial drop because the they didn't account. Oh, dude! That's gonna be mark. 
But just look at the environment here. Now, I bought this game on a whim. I, I was watching it for a while, but then I've forgotten about it. So I was just at GameStop one day, and I said, screw it, I'll just buy a World War II game. I feel like shooting some, some Nazis. And I just picked this up. Went over to a buddy's house. I said, hey, you want to check this out? I said, you know, whatever. I said, I just bought it on a whim. Ooh, there's some Germans. I don't remember that part. Opal Blitz truck going over there. And we just kind of ignored it. We said, whatever, we're doing stuff. And then, uh, the moon looks cool. So I got home, and I popped it in. I was like, yeah, let's check it out. And I was totally blown away right by that first scene where you jump out of the plane. And I was like, I must play this game. This looks amazing. So, hey, it's Sarge. Baker, where the hell's all your gear? Sarge. Take my 45 and shoot anything that's wearing gray. Hey, we got a pistol. M1911A1, 45 caliber pistol made by Colt Blunt Browning Manufacturing. It was also made by Springfield and such during the war. Seven rounds in the mag, one in the pipe, give you eight, but you can't get eight. So we got seven. This is a monster pistol. Probably the best handgun in World War II. The only other gun it could be right would possibly be better. Oh. oh, hold on. I forgot something else. We're not... Game options. Suppression indicators. Off. Hints. Off. Training. Off. Ally names. Off. I don't need none of that crap on. I don't need the uh, pansy waist crafts suppression indicators. Oh, can I get his gun? Nope. It's forged into his hand. We'll be able to pick up any enemy weapon later. I'm gonna try and figure out where the hell we are. Okay, so I don't know where the hell we are, but I sure as shit don't want to stay here with all these crowds about. Okay. Anyways, um, paratroopers were dropped all over the Nurm place in Normandy, France during the invasion. And it was actually probably the best thing that could have happened because otherwise it would have been sort of instantly surrounded and killed very quickly. The fact that they were spread out all over the place caused just immense panic and chaos behind the lines of the Germans. <laughs> they didn't know what the frig to do. But this is a pretty game. This is an Xbox One or original Xbox game and it is still looking nice. Textures are a little watered down. Player models are great. Motion capture is really good. Um, there's the Call of Duty. The dead horse beaten into the ground. The eventual fate of Call of Duty. That it has become today. Hey, there's nobody here. What are you... How are you taking cover? But I love the 45 pistol. Why our nation decided, our military decided, let's stop, not use the gun with a lot of firepower, and switch to the gun with no firepower at all. Jump over. Well, you can jump over stuff. It's a little tricky, but you can jump over things. Oh shit, Mac and Baker. I thought it was lost. Oh, it's laying it. Keep your voice down or the whole goddamn German army will show up. There's Lieutenant Colonel Cole. later. Anybody know where we are? No idea. I'll find out. Lieutenant Stay put. Lieutenant Colonel Robert Cole is amazing. Look him up. He is awesome. Hello, just we American. Americans. What town is this? <laughs> Any of y'all know French? I can't understand a goddamn word she's jabbering. <laughs> I speak a bit, sir. Then get your ass over here, son. Why oh, you such a loser? Pouvez-vous nous dire où nous sommes? Uh, she says we're just northeast of Saint Mary's. Damn it! Well, we're heading the wrong direction. I'm gonna see if I can gather some more guys. Y'all head that way, through the gate, and link up with anyone else you find as you head east. Okay. Stay alive. That's an order. Yes, sir. 
All right, that's a nice little bit of the game complete. Let's keep going. Silence the guns. You really start to notice the quirks a person has when you think he might be dead in a week. I remember the first time I saw Leggett. It was in the breakfast tent. He was cutting a hard-boiled egg into small pieces with a knife, like ham. It occurred to me at this point I'd never in my 23 years of existence seen a man cut an egg into slices like that. I don't know why I remember that. There's an AA gun over there. We have to take it out. Yeah, Legus the guy's glasses. Are you gonna pay for that? You just broke her damn gate. Like it? Shove a sock in it. <laughs> Shut up, Leggett. Get going. Shoot you in the back. I'm a pain in the rear. And he's the radio man. Yeah. You'd think he'd be trying to use the radio to try to link up with some people, but I don't know. I just love the environment of this first chapter, probably more than any other part of the game, of the whole series. Baker, get down. Stand by the fire. Don't fire until I do. Okay. I fire on those crowds. Then let's go. Oops. Yeah, when you see those white things going past you, maybe just trying to suppress it. This is a fire and suppression mechanic in this game. Suck 45, douchebag! Alright, now I can get me a K98. Let's go ahead and reload this thing. Every time you pick up a gun, they get full ammo about them. Oh, you got shot in the face! Ish. There's no headshots in the game. No, hit the wrong button. That's situational awareness fee. We're not using that. That's crap. Now you do have to wait for weapon sway to calm down. Moving does not help. Now, the thing about the K98, see how I put the stripper clip in? If I fire a round, let's put the two. And then I go to reload. I have to put individual rounds in. So it's quicker to reload this thing after firing the entire ammo capacity. We should help them. Maybe there's still some alive. What do we do? There's nothing we can do. But Sarge, keep moving, Leggett. This is a very fine weapon. It is actually very, very powerful because it's a bolt-action rifle. Rate of fire is pretty crap on it, but. Uh, Good gun. Alright, so they're about to run into some more Germans. And these boxes. I'm going to flank. Flank and spank. That is the name of the game. Okay. You see nothing. I don't have any grenades. I don't want to throw a grenade at these guys. Oh, we'll put a blast of him all over the wall. Look at that. <laughs> oh, blue. <laughs> This game has the most amazing uh, bullet physics on ragdolls I've ever seen. The first two games, I think, the other ones. But you see how the, the bodies, they never fall the same way. There's blunt splatters. It's amazingly good looking. Hey, can we just take the truck, guys? There's a truck. We can just take the truck. It's running. Keys are in it. Get around a lot faster. There's an AA gun over there. We have to take it out. Yep. Quad 20 millimeter flat gun. Bane of any Allied air crew. The Germans love it so much they started slapping them onto uh, Panzer IV chassis. That guy. Ow! He hit me. We're gonna put a satchel charge on it. Blow that sucker up. Yeah, I've already done that. Way ahead of you, Sarge. Better take cover, Sarge! Woo! Look at the bodies fly! <laughs> why? Because the game is awesome. That's why. Oh, I 
kill him too? Okay. Ooh, this gun's like a one hit kill. Let's get the pistol out of the building and rapid fire. Dick, Did you shoot at me. Hit the dirt! Oh, shit! More. I think they saw us! Oh, no shit! He's down! Basement, get around them! We have to get a flank on them! Working on it. Reloading. Americana! The troops we're fighting now are conscripts. Um, they are probably like Austrian yeah. reserves. Yeah, the fact. They're not tough as guys. Let's see. If I can see them, I can hit them. This can't use just no headshots in this game. Alright, well, if you guys are gonna hold them down there. God dang it! Get too many times. And there is no health pickups in this game. There are none. So when you're hit, you're just friggin' hit. Oh. Okay, guys, I can use a little bit of that suppressing fire now. Oh, where'd he go? Another down. I think that's all of them. All right. Plant our satchel. At least I still have my explosives, I guess. Gun with some TNT. So we can get the hell out of here. Voice acting in this game is really good. The characters actually sound like they care when they're getting shot at. There's actually panic in their voices. We can't stop duress now. The 4ID is coming up through Utah Beach. And there are Germans all over that area. New extra content has been unlocked. There's new content in the extras menu. We'll do that after we beat the game. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to continue on the next thing because we completed a whole chapter. Uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of the video, so I don't want to sit there and have st stupid long videos for this. So anyways, catch you on the next one. Later.